Okay, we're looking at a new sex-linked trait here. We're talking about Drosophila here, which is a type of fruit fly that geneticists like to work with. They are easy to take care of, they lay a lot of eggs fairly quickly, and so that makes them good for doing studies where you want to see a bunch of generations go by in a fairly short period of time. And the trait we're looking at is it affects a few things about the development of a fly, but one thing that's easy to notice is it affects the shape of their wings. And XN produces what they call a notched wing. There's a little triangular dent out of it, whereas X little n is normal. So there's this dominant trait that produces kind of a deformed wing. Now, in addition to changing the shape of the wings, this allele also affects the development of some of the internal organs, and it turns out if a male has this notched trait, it's actually it actually dies. Its egg never hatches or hatches with a dead fly inside because this allele causes some problems with its physiology. So they call this a lethal allele. Males who have a single XN will die. The heterozygous condition in females causes small notches. And the normal condition is X little n. So here are the possible genotypes and phenotypes. Let's get all this figured out before we go any further. We could have X big N, X big N, X big N, X little n, and X little n, X little n, and X big N, Y, and X little n, Y. I'm going to move that over a bit so we have room to write. What is each of these? They say X big N, X big N, that's notched, is deadly in Drosophila when homozygous in females. So this would be a notched and also dead female. X big N, X, X little n causes small notches, which is not lethal. So this is a female with a slightly funny-shaped wing, but not enough to kill her. And then most females, one would assume, are normal. They have normal wings and normal life expectancy. Males, X and Y is the notched condition, meaning death. Notched, meaning dead or stillborn male, and here we have normal male. So like with hemophilia where we saw that a female could have one copy of the defective allele and be okay because she had a normal version to cover for it, here again we see that where this notch condition which would normally be lethal isn't in a, in a heterozygous female because she has a good copy that protects her. Males don't have that. If they get one copy of the defective allele, they get hit. The, their only chance is to get the normal allele because they don't have a backup. So, if all that is good, let's look at the actual question. Phenotypes of the F1 generation from the cross XN, XN, X little n. Uh, it bugs me that they put the recessive before the dominant here, but we'll live with it. it. Is crossed with, I don't want to use another X for that, and then normal male. It better be a normal male because the other kind of male doesn't live long enough to become a dad. So there are the genotypes of the two parents, and we can Punnett square this easily enough. And I'm not going to have space if I put it there. Okay, so mom contributes either X little n or X big n. Dad contributes X little n or Y. So, offspring X little n, X little n, X little n, Y, X big n, X little n, X big n, Y. And 
they don't even want the genotypes, they're just interested in the phenotypes, so let's figure out what these look like. XX means female. Double normal, so this is norm female. X big N, X little n is small notch female. Small notch female, so still alive, just slightly irregular wings. X little n, Y is a normal male. Norm M. And X big N, Y is a notched, notch winged male who, by the way, is stillborn, or whatever the term is for an insect. So, notch male. So, half their offspring will be normal, one quarter will be small notch females, and one quarter of them will actually be dead at birth.